demonstration. We have a 66 years old gentleman presented to us with a right upper caution ping for the past one to two years. And private CT forex abdomen pelvis with contrast in October this year showed there is a mild splenomegaly with multiple irregular size heterogeneous hypodense hypo enhancing lesion up to one to two cent centimeters. Uh, also with a several mildly enlarged abdominal lymph node along the porta hepatis together with the main branch of the proximal SMA up to uh, 3.8 cm. And there is also some prominent mediastinal lymph node seen along the precarino and also the right hilar region. And this is the CT showing the uh, porta hepatis lymph node and we'll uh, proceed with US guided uh, contrast enhanced FN biopsy. Okay, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you. Uh, Professor James Law uh, invited me to attend this congress. It's my honor. Uh, this patient, uh, uh, there, there are a big uh, leaf node in uh, near the portal vein. Uh, recently, I scanning the the uh, the pancreatic. I think uh, the uh, Pancreas is normal. The uh, pancreatic duct uh, is about uh, 1.3 uh, millimeter. Uh, near the uh, pancreatic head, we find uh, here is a um, big uh, leaf node. That we see. The scope is in the duodeno. So, first, okay. The biggest uh, leaf node about uh, three point eight centimeter. Uh, we found this node. Uh, this node is about uh, one centimeter. Okay. Oh. Uh, sometimes in the CT scan, we can uh, find a lot of bigger node, but uh, under the US, we find that maybe this node is uh, better for uh, contrast and uh, FAA. Okay, now we perform the so you, you think this is the okay. lymph node that you can we can see on the CT scan? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps. Uh, okay. Uh, but then the CT okay. reported a three point eight centimeter. So this yes, in the CT scan, the biggest uh, node about uh, three point eight. But this, this is uh, centimeter. quite a big difference, huh? Okay. You can see this is a node. Here. Bigger. Okay. Here we cannot uh, find uh, the rich blood in the leaf mo leaf node. Okay. The malignant uh, nodes have uh, several characters, uh, like uh, a bigger one, mm, and uh, there is a, a hyper echo uh, on the center of the node. But I think the most important is uh, the FAA. 
So okay. Uh, take a picture. Uh, okay. Uh, so next uh, we perform uh, uh, F and B. Okay. Yeah, we use uh, uh, twenty a uh, protocol uh, from Cook Company. My scope is in the duodenal, so it's uh, difficult to uh, push to push the needle. So we should slowly. Okay. Okay. Fix tightly. We should re find the laden. Okay. Are uh, you here? Okay. Okay, we lock the big wheel. And uh, adjust the, the needle length. And the lock tightly. Okay. We should find a, a better needle check. So you the slow. Okay. Okay, here, about uh, three centimeter. We use our thumb to control the the elevator. Okay. Oh, okay. Here. Okay, a little more. Okay, because my elevator is up, uh, it's very up. But I think maybe the the tip of the needle is in the lesion. So, uh, okay, remove, and then we use the negative pressure. Okay. The needle mm. doesn't fan as well as it should, right? so it keeps in one, one direction. Okay. Any, any technique that you would use to to have different tra trajectory into the lesion? Uh, yeah, uh, my uh, I enjoy the, the pressure, uh, uh, the negative pressure, because I think uh, uh, also we have uh, a lot of blood, but we can get more tissue so i prefer use uh, negative pressure are you in a position okay. that you can try fanning at least or um, tipping the scope or tra trajectory by the elevator or is that a bit difficult in your position probably a little difficult in the beginning. Uh, yes okay i think uh, uh, if there is in not uh, rules, uh, we usually puncture about uh, three times. Okay, close. We try another uh, puncture, okay.
It's a nice demonstration. Okay, uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.